Hello, so we're back. Finally Friday. And I'm in the shop and we have a job. This is a this is a common fault, yeah? And I think I have a video like if we few a few days or weeks ago with this model. But it was a different fault. But this is quite a common one. So check this laptop. That's the dust. You can see here. Dust dust. Proper nice. Look how the dust collected here. Proper nice. <sighs> okay. Okay, the problem with this one, we have the we have the light on the charger, you can see. But if we are pressing the power button, nothing happened. I mean how we can fix something like that? I mean the screen looks like uh someone put some tape on it. This is a HP. Let me tell you the model one second. HP and the X360 convertible PC model 15-AQ160SA. Anyway, this is the HP with the power button on one side. Yeah? So, if we are pressing the power button, give me one second, give me one second. And uh, this is a common fault. I mean, how we can fix something like that? Let's get the multimeter. Obviously, if you have the charging light here, that means your 90 volts uh, uh, power rail is present. But we can check that. Well, we can't check that because... Yeah, we can check now. Uh, here we have nothing. And here we have... Check on the screen. Yeah, 19.5. You can see on the screen? Okay, so 19.5 is present. Most likely 3.3 is present because you have the light here. Now, what you will do next? Probably you'll try to reset the BIOS, take out the battery, things like that. The people on the shop already tried that and it doesn't work. So, uh, looks like uh, you press the power button and the IO chip is not starting the board. Can be an IO chip issue. But let's see if the IO chip is getting the the signal when you press the when you press the power button. And that's very simple to check, yeah. We have ground here, and here you have the power button. You can see it, you have two pins here. And if we have 3.6, that's mean uh, that's mean it's right. We have the voltage. So here we have you can see on the screen 3.2 volts, yeah. So we have 3.2 volts, that's fine. When you press the power button. This 3.2 has to go to ground. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, you press the power button, the voltage goes to ground, and the IO chip is seeing actually the the voltage goes from 3.2 to ground. That's how it works. So here we have 3.2 pressing the power button, and it's pressing. Yeah, you can see and uh, it's pressing, and nothing happened. You can see this is a common fault. It's not the first one. What I'm finding with this fault. But the last one, if you remember, has uh, crack solders on the power button. But not this one. I can't see any crack so I mean, I, I can check the signal exactly on the button on the top. Yeah. <clears throat> Let me see if I can show you under the microscope. Uh, I can show you here. Yeah. So that's the that's the power button. And check here. I don't check here. Yeah. I can check here. And we have the voltage, right? But I can check on the top, yeah. So that's mean the button exactly on the button. And we have 3.2 pressing the power button. And it's going to zero. No, oh, sorry, I moved the probe. Sorry, I moved the probe. Uh, 3.2 pressing the power button, nothing happened. You can see. Oh, wait, the button is not pressing. It's not pressing because the metal is bent, do you think? Now, one second. Okay, this can be a pointless video. Okay, so we bend back the metal. Let's see now.
And now the voltage is switching to zero. That's insane. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh. So the issue was the bent metal. I can't believe. So we booked in the job. Wait, where is the receipt from this job? Oh, it's on the top. Oh, I can't believe. Okay, we booked in the job with not turning on. Because it was not turning on. Well, let me get, grab the receipt. Uh, okay, that's insane. So if now we are pressing the power button, the laptop is coming on. Huh? I can't see. I can't see the fan spinning. No, it's not working. It's not working. Let's get a multimeter again. Now, one second, it's not working. And they have 3.2, pressing the power button, and it goes to zero. And the laptop starts. And the fan is spinning. And I have a picture on the screen. Okay. When you try to do a video fixing something, and actually the fault, it was this bent thingy, which was not leaving the, the, the power button to cause uh, inside dip. What is this? It's a metal thingy. Anyway, if you have this model, this is a good example what can go wrong. And what can go wrong is the button not pressing or the button. Most likely you have cracked solders on the power button. We, we had before the video, we say model having cracked solders on the power button. It's a common fault. Yeah. I was hoping, you know, to be something more uh, exciting, but nothing more. Okay, I'll give this uh, laptop for cleaning to my colleagues. And I believe probably I'll see you next week. So what is here? Here is the RAM memory. Oh yeah, it is the RAM memory. Yeah, it's a nice laptop, a nice laptop. Probably the fan is probably clogged with, with, with dust. Yeah, okay, I'll stop now. Uh, I wish you to have a great weekend, yeah, and uh, we can have a coffee together, yeah, to, to, tomorrow it's uh, Saturday, we can have a coffee together tomorrow, so uh, see you on the next one, bye.